So my apologies for this uh, during the recording. Um, I've actually just gotten a message from one of our cast members on the Band of Gamers podcast, so I do need to get him a response. Um, So that is uh, Osiris Prime. It will definitely be we'll definitely be happy to have him back on. So I also need to let people know that I'm recording. So there are as few interruptions as possible. I think my Father's Day gift is going to be one of those, uh, I really want one of those things that they used to have outside the radio station rooms, or do have outside the radio station's room that say on air or recording. So I've run out of real estate to store things on today. So, um, let's see, phone volume's a little loud, so apologize for any screeching that came across in the recording. So, uh, if my overlays are working correctly, my name is Agassicle Stamus from Gearworks.com, here with another episode of My Gaming Diary on the Rounding Off Infinity Gaming Channel on YouTube. Uh, are you kidding me? So we'll be talking about this. Uh, so this afternoon I am playing uh, Drive Club on the PlayStation 4, uh, which has a menu that looks surprisingly like Forza Motorsport. <laughs> so maybe that's a good thing. Uh, it provides a level of comfort. Um, but uh, so this game obviously has a uh, storied past, um, storied development cycle. Um, I don't know how well I'm going to show up on the webcam here either. Uh, so it was, if memory serves, and I'm quoting all this from memory, so if I get it wrong, it's not my fault. I have not had time to go off and actually do research and look this stuff up. Um, no announcements. Drivers and multiplayer sessions. Really need to update my player icon. It's been the same forever. Most clips garage, my profile. Did I earn any money off that first race? Cycle vehicle class. So what, do I only have like one car? Is everything has to be purchased from the PlayStation Store? No, okay, alright. Yeah, I figured... Uh, so, I guess this is going to be the financial challenge, right? Do I just <clears throat> upgrade the whole thing, or... Uh, do I just buy the non-PlayStation Plus edition? So, so anyway, um, like I said, the game had a story past. Uh, was supposed to be a launch title. It wound up being one year late, maybe two years late. Um, and I think it was advertised as being free. Um, 
for PlayStation Plus members, but the reality is, is uh, it looks like the game is free, um, but what is not free uh, is... Uh, all the content. So you, so you get the game engine, basically. Um, but uh, but everything else is, like, locked out. So... And I apologize. Anybody who watches my channel knows that I have horrible allergies. So, uh... Like, standalone is unavailable. Also, there's livery pack. Oh, that stuff is free. That's, that's neat. Free, free AMG expansion pack, Apex expansion pack. So there's some, so there's some content here that it's free. I will download that between the first and second session. So uh, my plan today, what I really want to get to is, uh, man, I've got so much stuff to download. Um, I'm really wanting to record uh, some multiplayer within Drive Club. Um, this is actually my first boot episode, so I have not actually uh, brought the game up before now. Uh, so this is a drive club store. I'm looking for how much the, the whole upgrade is. Standalone. There's a bike expansion. It's 15 bucks. Season pass is 13. Season pass. What is the that's what I want to know, is how much is the upgrade? What? Okay, so now what it looks like is that they launched it uh, after saying it was going to be free for PlayStation Plus members, <clears throat> but then locked all the content behind it and had an upgrade, which I'm going to guess was full price at like $59.99. Um, but then, because people got angry about that, then they... <clears throat> then they atomized it, right? <laughs> so that you could buy just the stuff that you want. Ah, this is so... Bollocks. Tours. So you have to... I was about to say, you have to buy tours in the store? No, it looks like all the tours are available. Okay. But then you can buy liveries. Alright. So, I guess what I need to do, I don't want to... So you can purchase stuff here. There are things that are locked, like I apparently haven't locked the bike mode. I have not unlocked the bike mode. I just really, like, don't even know how to approach this. I don't know. Guess I'm just gonna kind of take a progressive approach. So I'm uh, really, really, really pressed for time today. Already ten minutes into this rec- Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't, did not ask for that. Um, so I guess I'll start with the hot hatch category. I want to figure out what can I buy without having to go purchase it from the store. So let's buy the Mercedes AMG. Can I buy that? So is the deal with this game that there's not, like, in-game currency? Like, you just, uh... So you can get the factory paint jobs. Photo mode environments. Paint job. And I... I don't want to view the paint job. Uh, ah! Okay belong to a club. Design your own special paint job. Yeah, 
Yeah. So again, like Forza, like I, look, I get that some people are into this, but like I don't want to spend a bunch of time like painting my car. <laughs> right. Alright. So let's use that one. What are so designs? Oh, then I can pick the colors. So that's the base, pick a primary. All right. That was my... T yeah, metallic appears to be the only color available. Tertiary. Alright, so that is going to be my paint job. Race number. Accolades. I thought I actually had earned. So I haven't earned accolades. I guess that's something different than trophies. Environment, okay. So I have a custom paint job. Great. I'm in the car. bounce out of that. Alexa just woke up for some reason. I did not call you. Um, house close pretty close. My profile replays. So weird. Tour single event, random event on multiplayer. Let's go tour. Some new drive club tour, like I don't. You have to buy that. Uh, if I have to buy all these tours, I'd be angry. Start on. So I got three to three stars and uh, lock out. It's the only one that's available. I guess I'll go custom. Please let me be able to assign. Right. So, okay. So that's the one I. Did. Okay. Good. Whew. Man, if I hadn't been able to assign it, I'd have been angry. All right, so like I said, much story history. Um, so uh, for the recording setup today, I am, but but I have played one race of this. This is again, it's my first boot. It's the first time I've booted the game up um, because I've just been very late getting around to checking it out. Uh, I really like what I've seen so far. Definitely feels like Forza. 
Um, depending on the content that I find and what the cost of this thing is, I think this, you know, obviously this development team had a problem delivering on time, but man, it would be nice for there to be another racer um, to run alongside the uh, the uh, Gran Turismo, right, since it's like delivers so late and is so unreliable in when it's going to get out uh, in the generation. So let's quickly run down the hardware. I want to do that before I start my race so I can focus entirely on the race. Um, so I'm using the Elgato HD60 uh, for the video game capture today. I am bringing in the audio over uh, HDMI uh, versus analog. Um, for the webcam, I'm actually recording off-axis uh, this afternoon. So I am using the uh, Contour Roam 3 Action Cam. Uh, just because it gives me a little more flexibility and gives me the option to do some things uh, differently with the camera. Um, again, I may not actually do those things, but it gives me control over a little more control over where I put the camera uh, and, uh, and more flexibility in merging the video together when I go to edit. So, uh, and for the audio voiceover commentary, um, I am using the Liegi L58. Um, now, for integrating all my uh, audio, what I'm doing is I'm using the Behringer Xenix 302 USB hardware mixer. Um, I have that connected to the streaming PC over USB and then I have the Liegi L58 plugged into the XLR input port on the mixer. Uh, that input port actually provides 48-volt uh, DC phantom power, so I don't have to use the breakout um, native supply that the Liegi L58 comes with, although I do frequently prefer to use that uh, today. I just happen not to be. Um, then uh, I've, I've been doing this a lot more lately. For some reason, for like a year and a half that I've been streaming and doing game captures, I just didn't consider it, but... I am pulling both my uh, voiceover commentary as well as the in-game audio into this. So because I'm using an open-air mic, uh, I need to uh, uh, squeal away the game's uh, in-game audio so that that's not playing out over the open air and winds up being picked up by the mic and giving feedback and bleed over. So uh, I am taking the RCA outputs, the left and right channel RCA put outputs on the uh, side panel of my Vizio 32 inch uh, TV and bringing those over to the Behringer Xenix 302 USB and putting them in the line in port. That gives me the ability to individually control the volume of the in-game audio, which is always um, a problem. Uh, because if I had taken the feed directly from the TV into my headphones, then I would have no volume control. And the PS4 natively just tends to run loud. Um, when you do that. Uh, then I uh, have the push button switches set to take that line in input and send it over to the headphone output port where I have my uh, Sony MDR V700s plugged in. So um, these, uh, these Sony headphones are I think the oldest uh, uh, in my kit. I think I've had these since like 2003 or something like that. And I think that is the entire setup. All of that is going over to the uh, streaming piece, to my primary streaming PC, which is a custom built box that I uh, just put together a few weeks ago uh, over spring break, um, and that is running a uh, Core i7-7700K uh, CPU being cooled by an Arctic Freezer 11 LP for low profile cooler, um, and 32 gigabytes of DDR2133, I think that's PC 17,000 RAM. Uh, I am not running a dedicated video card in it, I'm just using the integrated Intel uh, HD 630 video card which seems to perform well um, and uh, and then right now I'm recording to an external uh, Western Digital uh, hard drive. Um, I'm using the uh, Elgato Game Capture HD software and uh, if there's anything wrong with this it is the problem with the software. Uh, that's actually what caused me <laughs> my issues today um, because I have uh, because I have um, so this is the first time I'm running this track, uh, so I, and I'm running out of passing room here very quickly. I could have pushed, uh, could have pushed it up into that path, but I decided that would not be prudent. Uh, I really love how this game plays uh, in terms of the physics model. Uh, I've just immediately acclimated to it. That slides me up into eighth. Every once in a while I hit the X button because I just really need a burst of uh, nitro. But of course they don't have that in this game. I 
up into seventh. Nice take. Too high into that corner. Hold on to it. Ah, you got me. So it is a driving genre week for me. Uh, I will pretty much be playing driving games the whole time. Uh, I plan on playing Grid 2, uh, this. Um, i trying to think what else. Uh, Need for Speed Rivals. Uh, I got to run on. There we go. I, I got to run on the next two. There's three laps. So it's always bothersome when uh, when you're running a race for the first time on the track and you're fighting that learning curve. So this is only my second race in this game, so I'm still kind of trying to figure out the specifics of the physics model as well. I'm really trying to push it to catch these guys too. So what I do like about this game is uh, unlike some other racing games, right, it's competitive. Um, you know, I'm down here in the pack fighting it out. Not able to just easily jump to the front of the race, which I like when <sighs> So last time I just <clears throat> barely came into contact with that guardrail and this time I just totally ate it. Now the only thing I don't like to this point is again because of the weird uh, in-app purchase model basically. Um, I don't yet feel like the garage and the stable of cars is my own. Um, so it lacks that feeling of uh, <clears throat> personalization. So the one issue with the uh, Contour Roam 3 is uh, because it is the micro SD cards it uses have to be formatted in the FAT32, I think it's FAT32 format, um, I can only get about 30 minutes of recording um, on a video, and when I split that video up across multiple recordings it just becomes a pain in uh, video editing, <coughs> stitching all that together. So. I'm trying to stick very close to a 30 minute recording. Uh, like I said, I, I want to play this for about an hour and a half today. I don't know. It looks like I might be ready to just jump into multiplayer because, like I said, there's not a ton of personalization. Um, I'm going to drive a few cars and at least make a couple paint schemes. It seems like that's maybe the only thing I really need. Ah. So, one thing I turned off is I turned off the look in the corners, and I always do this, uh, <clears throat> takes me a while to, like every time, every time I sit down in a racing game, when I haven't played a racing game in a while, it takes me a while, oh man, am I taking da is it, I'm either taking damage or the tires are going off on this car, this is definitely not cornering, and it arguably shouldn't be, it's definitely not cornering, uh, like it did in the first lap. Now, I like games, and I prefer games that have uh, tire wear modeling, but uh, usually um, that model, you know, you're a little bit deeper <coughs> uh, into a, a race or uh, beat the average speed. So I did come in in less than 5.10. Force expansion pack. What did I? So should I continue or restart? So I don't. It's not clear. It's, uh, 
So do I have to, I guess I have to come in third position or higher each race, right, to advance, that gives you one star. You have to get eight stars to advance. So, so this is the big question, is how much content is available? Forza just lets you. So here's another. So I don't know if I should um, try and get in the top three and keep practicing this, or if I should uh, just move on to the next thing. Um, in Forza, I generally don't get wrapped around the axle about finishing in the top three every single race because it's, it's not a requirement to. Um, you you gain points to move up to the next threshold in the single player campaign. Um, but I guess. Uh, I guess I will. I'll focus on uh, finishing in the top three. Even though it's the only thing that you can really uh, personalize in here, I guess I do kind of like the custom paint jobs. So since the um, Contra Run 3 is recording, it's a little bit behind uh, the actual game clock, uh, and the game, my recording clock is at about 25 minutes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and push through and try and put another race in before I stop the Contra Run 3 and break this out into a second segment. White knuckle. Oh, this is like five wide. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> oh, man, that was going to be. Oh. I'm not sportsmanlike, but I didn't have much choice there. Now I'm in sixth. So this is the question, right? The question, you know, there's a chance that there's enough content here that I might feel like uh, there's a enough single-player campaign content here. I've been taking that corner too fast. Get off! I also have to mow the yard today. One of the one of the big reasons I've got really bad allergies today is because. Uh, I was in the yard, mowing the yard for about an hour last night. My allergies are always the worst when I do that right before going to bed. So that stuff just seems to stick in my lungs for the whole night. Uh, since paint, oh, since paint jobs are the only thing you can personalize, I wish they would have uh, let you. You know, along with cosmetics, let you uh, get really unstable. Um, oh, huh, I'm in third. <laughs> a lot of competition right there, though. Really have to take up on that. Yeah, that's a 180 turn. I, <laughs> I've just been barreling into it without logically recognizing that. Okay. So now I need to wake up and look into these turns a little more. Ah! Ah, man. That's it. You just threw the whole thing. You, were, you had a solid run in third. No, 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 no. Gosh, that guy. I don't know what a bit of... Yeah, you're not gonna... You're not gonna save that. 
<laughs> this guy, I don't know how he gets to jump on me, and it's uncanny how he, like, literally squeezes down between my right, my passenger side, well, not passenger side, because it looks like this is considered like a British seat, so <laughs> down my, between my right side and the wall like that. So it's the third lap. Yeah, I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't realize it was that left hand, the big left hand turn coming up. I've lost another position. I was making a run at it too. It's a deep these guys or these DB vantages that these guys are in. Or some other kind of Aston Martin, I think it is. Yeah, I won't be racing in cockpit anytime soon <laughs> until I get better at this game. Uh, I actually hurt my hand on that one, squeezing the brake that tight. I hate leaning on the e-brake in games. I try to get away without uh, not, with not using it at all, but I may have to on some of these turns. Alright, so I improved by one place. Alright, so that's going to do it for me for this first segment recording. Uh, ooh, ouch, sorry. I'll definitely be back. Um, I'm going to use the second session as uh, more warm-up and uh, more learning the game, but I will definitely be jumping into multiplayer for the third rep. So uh, thanks so much for joining in on this episode of uh, My Gaming Diary on the Routing Off Infinity Gaming Channel on YouTube for anybody who happens to swing by and check out this archive video. My name has been Agassicles Stamos from Gearworks.com. Feel free to drop by the website. Please feel free uh, on the YouTube channel as well to like, uh, dislike if that's appropriate. Um, and uh, please leave me some feedback uh, if you don't mind so I can know what it is you didn't like and what you think I can do better at. Um, and... If you'd really like to help me out, please go ahead and subscribe. So I'm going to get out of here, uh, either edit this video or get set up for my uh, second segment run, um, and squeeze in a little bit more time on this before I have to head out and mow the yard. Thanks so much for joining in, everybody. I'm out of here.